Okay. So in this session, we are going to learn about different lazy loading recipes. So quick introduction about myself. So I'm Pankaj Parker, I'm MS, NBP and Angular GDA working as a technology consultant at Versusa. So if you want to follow me, you can follow me using Pankaj Parker handle. So let's begin with the talk. So first of all, what is lazy loading? So basically lazy loading is a technique of loading relevant resources on demand. So basically load whatever required. So we, we are going to see four recipes of it. So uh, one by one, this is dynamic loading component, then import scam, then config based simple form, and then config based configuration based the complex form. So let's first start. So this is very simple technique. We you must have used it. So basically we have a button on HTML and we are calling show business card method to display show uh, display business card. And what it, what it basically does is inside a component in using view child, it gets hold of the container and inside show business car method, you will see that first we use factory resolver and we resolve the factory of component and whatever the instance we get based on that, we create a component and put it inside this ng container. So that's why dynamic component create component and the comp factory that we have created. And if you want to pass in other inputs property so you can use just instance dot profile so profile object being passed cool so let's look at the demo of it so this is application so when you click on this code you will see that this particular content dynamically gets generated so also one more i have one more example show user list so it also does the same thing so let's move on to the next uh, next recipe which is imports and scam so import is nothing but es6 import but what is scam so scam is single component angular module. Okay. So over here, I am going to use a mini weather application and that is going to be embedded in on our application or uh, inside our application on demand. So this will help us to save some bits of application and maybe this could be of size five or 10 KB and we will be saving that. So let's see how we can do that. So, so to implement scam module, what you have to do is inside your component file, define your component. And underneath that, define your module and export it so that it should work. Okay. So how to use this? So same way we will have a button and on top of on top of that we will call one method, and then we will using view child we will go get hold of the ng container, and same way inside load uh, load weather widget method you will see that we have used async. And this is made very, a very important line. What we are doing over here is we are, we are pointing to the dashboard component file and we are loading it lazily. So it will wait until it gets loaded. And next three lines are same that we have seen in the last slide to load, load the component lazily. Let's look at this example quickly. So this is it. Now let's look at the network tab. Once you click on the load weather widget, it load the load weather widget file on that instance. So we save some bits and the, this is dynamically loaded. Nice. Let's move on to the third, third recipe, which is config based simple form. So for this, we are going to use ng component outlet directive. Let's see how. So suppose we have a controls and that is array, which is holding, uh, having component object and each component have import. Okay. And to display these controls on the HTML, we have used ng for, okay. And this ng4 is nothing but doing looping over controls and using ng component outlet. And we are doing control dot component. Uh, so it has a promise. So we are using async to resolve it. So automatically it will display the particular currency select or number or slide component. So let's see, see the example. So as soon as you click on this, you will see that four files are loaded and you can see the form. Right now there is an ng component outlet have one issue where you cannot pass inputs and output props to it. So let's try to resolve that. So that's the fourth recipe. So over here I did something more, some more things like now we have components map, which is currency number select and slider. And we have controls as well. So controls is nothing but this data can be configuration can be retrieved from the server. And as soon as we receive this, we start create a form. Basically we will loop over the controls and we will, uh, you know, add those control inside a form using add control method. And on HTML, how it looks like is same ng4. And then we will be using, in addition to ng component outlet component, 
uh, directive, we will be using NDC dynamic inputs. And over there, we will be passing component control inputs, which are the input props, basically, different input values. So let's look at this demo. So now this complete form has been rendered using, uh, uh, you know, dynamic component rendering. And you can see that some values are populated. And this is using reactive form. And you can see that at the bottom, the values are getting reflected. So these are the basic recipes that we uh, we were looking at and you can you know follow them and uh, make some performance improvement your in your application as and when needed yeah thank you